All right, we're out here on the range. Target is at 100 yards. Um, gonna shoot one shot through the barrel because it is clean. And then we're gonna do two five shot groups with the 108 Burger bow tail. This is my 6BR um, Aerosolus Obsidian Action, Aerosolus chassis, Athlon 5 to 25 optic. I think this is a 26 inch barrel. I really need to measure it, but I think 26 or 27, I can't remember. Um, one and eight twist Krieger barrel um, that I chambered yesterday. Shot the 105s yesterday, they shot really good. So we're gonna try 29.7 grains of Bargett and uh, the 108 Motel hollow point at uh, 2.35 cartridge overall length. Labrador's out. Um, again, the first shot's just a cold bore shot, or sorry, clean and cold. And uh, then we'll go for there and we'll see how they grew. All right, really good looking group. So perfect, the 108's gonna shoot too. Our velocity looked incredibly consistent too. I'm really uh, getting used to this rifle basics trigger. Um, did a little more adjusting on it yesterday. Um, added a little bit of weight to pull. I have it more like 14 ounces now because it was a little lighter than what I was used to. Um, Let's see, those five we average 2806 feet per second with a 4.4 SD and a 9 ES. So perfect. Looks like we're not going to have to do any load work up with the 108 either. Okay, I'm just going to keep this on the same series here because it's the same load. So we'll get a 10 shot velocity average. If I can do my part and continue to group them in there. I kind of did that. I felt that. I mean, just barely, but it broke just a little right. All right, that's all five, right? So, lab radar came disconnected there from my phone, which is pretty common for it. But right, give it a second, I'll get you the velocity numbers here. We also had a little bit of wind pickup, so potentially that little horizontal came from wind. But honestly, you know, those are still really good groups. That first one's tiny, second one's small. Um, and again, no load work up, literally just picked a random load, backed off a little bit of what I had with the 105, just to cut velocity down because we were in the 2850s and I wanted to be right around 2800. So um, I, I think we were, let me, I'll get our, our 10 shot average here in a second. So anyway, if you guys are interested in any of this aerosola stuff uh, or any aero stuff, I've got an affiliate link that they sent me that I make a little bit of uh, profit of. Uh, but so far, I highly recommend it. This action's awesome. You can get them on sale. They run sales all the time and uh, super easy tin into thread. Um, and then obviously I like the chassis too because I've been shooting it a bunch. Feeds really good with BR, which is exactly what I wanted with this Solus action. All right, so those 10 shots, we had 28.02 average with a 19 ES and a 7.4 SD. So nothing to complain about there. Groups look really good. Velocity numbers look good. And obviously we could use this load for about anything we wanted. So hope you guys enjoy this one. You're gonna see a whole bunch more with this, this uh, action and things like that. I, I do need to get another chassis because obviously I only have one of these aerosolus chassis. So um, we'll see what I end up doing with that. I'll keep an eye out on some good deals and things like that. But hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the new BRA content. It's so nice now to be able to feed this because this would not feed in my um, in my sequence precision no matter what I did. So to be able to drop this right into the Aero Solus and feed it out of my um, Solus Obsidian Action is pretty awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, again, I've popped up a website. We're going to start selling some shirts and stuff. If you want to check it out, the link's in the description. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.